Hello everybody, welcome back, I hope you're all well. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these beaded rings. So this is what they look like. So they have this little square at the front with a different colour in the centre and then a seed bead band as well. So let's get started. So to make one of these rings you're going to need some size 11 seed beads in two different colours. So I like using a metallic colour for the band but today, um, so it's easier for you to see, I'm going to use like an opaque um, solid colour like this. It's not too shiny or reflective. So I'm using this purple and then you want to choose a different colour well, you don't have to but you can choose a contrasting colour for the centre and I usually go for like a clear um, or silver line bead it makes it look a bit more like a jewel and I'm going to be using this purpley rainbow you'll also need your thread and a beading needle that's everything let's get started so I've threaded my needle onto some thread and I'm going to pick up five of my main colour. So this is the colour that's going to be all the way around the band. Picking up five of those and then slide it down onto your thread and go close to the other end but leave enough so that you can attach your needle to that end and tie a knot at the end of the thing. So you've got this. Now I'm going to pick up one of my main colour and one of my middle colour. I'm coming, I'm going to hold these here with this thumb so they don't slide off the other end. I'm coming out of the top here, I'm going to go up through those top two beads like that. So you have this and you can keep pushing your other beads up to it. Now I'm going to come back down through those two that I just added. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going to pick up just two of the centre colour and so they're the two I've already gone through so I'm going to go through the next two, up through the next two, from the bottom up like that. So we have this and back down through those two that we just added, which is going to be the bottom two. So now we have this and you should just have one more floating around here at the bottom. So you're going to pick up one of your main colour and sew up through that last bead like that. So we have this and I need to sew back down through that last one that we just added. Now you've got this. Now after every row it's important to sew back through the row before and back down the one you're coming out of. So I'm going to sew through all five in this row before the one I'm working on. And then I'm going to go back down through the one that I just added. So you need to do that after you add every row. So we have this. Now we're going to do another row with the same pattern so that there's three of the inside colour in the middle and one of the outer colour on each edge. Now I'm working from the bottom to the top because I find it easier. So my string's coming out the bottom. I'm going to pick up one main colour and one inside colour. And coming out of here so I'm going to go down through the first two. like that. Now I'm going to sew up through those two that we just added. This time I'm going to pick up two of my inside colour and go down through the next two. From the top down through those two and then back up through the two 
we added. Now we need just one single of the outside colour going down through that last top bead like that and back up through that one. So now we have this, so like I said before, now you need to, you're coming out of the top here, you need to go down through that last row, like that, and back up through the one we just added, and that just um, connects all the beads to each other and makes it sit like nice and neat. So now we're going to do a row like this one, which is all outside colours. So I'm going to turn it over again so I'm starting at the bottom and do the same thing again. I'm going to pick up two outside colours, go down through the first two and back up through those two. Two more of my outside colour, down through the next two and go back up through those two. and one final outside colour going back through that very last bead on the top and then back up through the one we added. Pull it tight and then I'm going to sew down through the previous row and up through the row I just completed. Now we have this, so this is one half of that square but we're going to make it double sided so we're going to do four more rows starting with this row so you're going to do the next row is going to be five outer colours and then you're going to do this row so outer inside 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 outer and then again outer inside 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 outer and then the final row is going to be the same as this one so you're going to repeat this pattern so if you forget what you need to do just look back at this first four rows so your first row is going to be this, your second row is the second row, your third row is the third row, and this is your last row. So I'm going to sort of zoom ahead through that. So go ahead and add your four more rows in exactly the same pattern as the four before. So your first row is five of your main colour. Don't forget in between each of the rows to sew down through the previous one and back up through the one you were coming out of. Your second row is going to be main colour followed by three inside colours and one main colour. Your next row is going to be exactly the same. Main colour, inside colour, inside colour, inside colour, main colour. Okay, so your final row is just five of your main colour. So then you should have this. So now we need to fold it, and you're going to fold it right down this centre, like that. So if you look at it on the top, you've got four and four. So I'm coming out the top of this one, so we need to join these two together. So we're going to do follow the same kind of rule that we did before. So we're coming out of these two, I'm going to go down through the first two on the other side and then back up through the first two on this side. This time we're going to go down through four beads on this side and back up through two, the two like directly opposite. that and going back into the one again directly opposite you're going to go down through the last three on the other side. Now as always up through that whole row and down through that last row. There we go. So now you should have this. So it's a little double sided square so this is like the middle of your ring coming out of the top here one of these edge beads like this so it doesn't matter 
you know, if you're coming out of this one, this one, or this one, as long as you're coming out of one of these on the very edge, then you're going to pick up one of your main colour. We're only going to be using the main colour now. And go th under the two threads that connect these beads together. So under that one and under that one. Now if you're at the other end, do the same just under the first two, that side. And if you're coming out the front, obviously you'll go that way. So go under those threads. Now you need to go up through the bottom of this bead. And then pull that down with your thumb like that. Then picking up another one. Now you're going through these middle thread bridges. So you're just taking your needle under those threads. And again, you're going to go up through the bottom of that bead. And adding one more on this side. So you're going through the last two this time. And pull that down. And up through that bead. From bottom to top. Pull that down. Now you've got this. So you've got these three beads sitting on the top. So now we need to travel to the other side. So what I usually do is just go, I'm coming out of this one on the end, I'm going to go down through the next one in the middle. Okay, and now I'm going to move down through one of these, it doesn't matter which, through one of these rows to, all the way to the other side. Okay, so turning it around. So now I'm coming out of here. So now all you need to do is, you know, either sew down and up or up and down until you get to one of the end beads again. Because you need to start by coming out of the top of one of those end beads. So I'm just going to go down through that one, up through the one on the end. So just reposition your thread so that you're coming out of one of those. And then we're going to do the same again. So picking up your first one, you're going to go under those first two thread bridges, pull it down and go up through that bead and then add your other two as well. So now you have this. So this is what our strands for the band are going to be connected to. This is where you're going to have to do a little bit of maths. <laughs> sorry to say but you need to sort of start stringing beads onto here and measuring it around your finger and sort of working out how big you need your band to be because obviously it's going to differ from person to person and finger to finger um so but what's important is that you pick up a number that's like you can divide it by five or four maybe even three because that's important when you come to the next step so at the next step you'll travel through five and then join those beads together at the fifth bead and then at the tenth, fifteenth and so on. As long as it's divisible by, you know, like four or five, six even. <laughs> um, yeah, so go ahead and on this first one you're going to string on some beads and just keep measuring it around your finger till you think you've got the length that you need for your ring. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've picked up 35 beads and I'm going to slide those down. And because I've made a few now, I sort of know what length, with size 11 C beads, what length's going to fit, what finger. So I've picked up 35, so like I said, it's um, good if you can divide it equally into fours or fives. So I've done 35, so that's divisible by fives. So once you've strung your beads on, then oop, I'm going to hold it like this. So I'm coming out of this one here, so I want to go into the matching one on the opposite side. So through the first one on this side, from top to bottom, so from the outside in towards the piece, like that. 
And at this point, if you hold it really tight and you want to put it on your finger and check that it's not going to be like really big or really small, then you can do that before you get any further and then adjust it if you need to. So just pull in that really tight and then you're going to sew up. Then you're going to sew up through this next little one on the top. Now you need to string on exactly the same amount of beads again and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've got my 35 beads again and I'm just sliding those down. We're all coming out of this side this time, so you're going to go into the middle bead on the other side. And again, you're going from the outside in towards the middle of the ring, like that. You don't want to go bottom to top, or it's going to sit funny. So you've got this, I'm just going to go through there, so I can flip that to the side out of my way. So now you need to go up through that last little bead on the top here, through that one. And then again you're going to add on your last loop. So do the same thing again and then loop it through to the other side. Okay, so just go back through that bead on the other side once you've added all your beads. And now you've got this. Okay, so you want to like put all your, you want to get all your loops around the back, make sure they're not tangled over each other, make sure they're all sitting straight and they're not overlapping each other. So get it sitting like that, keep pulling it tight. And then, so we're coming out the bottom of this one, I'm going to move down through this whole last row on this top square, like that, and into to this bottom bead here. This one on the other side. Keep it pulled tight so that your loops don't come loose. Now you need to, so depending on what number if yours is odd or even and what you can divide it by so you need to move through like your um your number so mine divides by five i've got 35 beads so i'm going to move down through five beads if yours divides by four you can move down through four beads divides by six move down through six and so on so I'm just going to start by moving down through five beads. So again, move down through whatever yours divides by. Five. Okay, and keeping it pulled tight all the time. Now on the second strand, you need to count down five as well. So don't count these ones that are connected to the piece. It's literally just the ones that we added in the loops. So. So this bead here, so I'm coming out the bottom of this one, so I'm going to go up through that bead, the fifth bead in the next row. Now we need to count the fifth bead in the last row. And it's this one and I'm going to go down through that one. So they're all connected together now but I'm going to go back up through the middle one. and down through the end one. That means that they're all connected together after the first step, but if you do that as well, that means they'll sit straight and they won't be pulling one way or the other. See how they sit straight like that? Okay, so now what you need to do is count down again through your, whatever your divide, <laughs> whatever you're divisible by. So I'm gonna count down through five again. Two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to do exactly the same, so I'm going to connect all the fives together in a row. So I'm going to connect this one to the fifth one in the middle and the fifth one on the end, the same way as I did before, and then I'll travel down through five again, do the same again. And then I'll travel down five again, do the same again, five again, and I'll do that, well, 35, so I'll do that seven times, because mine's divided by seven. So you need to do that all the way around with yours, till you get right round the other side 
and you should end like five beads away or four, whatever yours is. You should end like there if you've done the maths correctly. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what to do next. So I've gone all the way around doing that and now my band is all connected together in these groups of five. So that's the ring finished. So now all we need to do is move back up into your centre bit here. And I usually try to tie my knots more so on the underside, sort of here and here. So tie knots with your working thread and your tail thread, cut them off and then you're finished. Okay, so that was the finished ring. This is what they look like. So really cute. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you're able to make one of these and please tag me on Instagram if you do, I'm at Beading by Hannah, I'd love to see. And comment down below here what else you'd like to see. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time, bye!